So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the calibration curve for the tea extract experiment uh, that we've asked you to do. So for this, you are going to need uh, some water, so that's just tap water in there, a marker pen for labelling things, some of these uh, squidgy pastette things. So these will um, pipette up to three mils uh, each, so they, those are our pipettes. Um, a bunch of cuvettes that you can see I've pre-labeled those with the different dilutions we're going to be making up. A couple of these 50ml uh, centrifuge tubes and then an extract of tea. So uh, I have literally uh, boiled a kettle, um, uh, made a cup of black tea. Uh, so I boiled, uh, so I let the tea stew for a minute uh, in about 50ml of water and I've just put that into the falcon tube. So that's my, my extract of tea. Okay, so... What we're going to do is to set up a range of different dilutions so that we can test those with our colorimeter. So it's really important that we know that um, the colorimeter can detect different concentrations reliably. So before we measure our biological extracts, uh, what we do is we set up what's called a dilution series. So that we check that there is uh, a relationship between concentration um, and uh, our output, which in this case is going to be the RGB values on our phones. So we check that there is a predictable relationship between concentration and the output. Um, and then that helps us to be really sure uh, and happy that we're measuring the thing we think we're measuring. OK, so what we need to do is to set up uh, a series of dilutions of our tea. So this is the 100 percent extract. That's just the cup of tea, uh, the cup of black tea I'm defining as 100 um, percent. So obviously that will be different for different people. Um, uh, you might have brewed it for longer or whatever. So this is this will be your data. We can't really compare data between people. You need to do your own dilution series. Uh, it won't make sense if you try and get the data from somebody else. OK, so just let that tea cool. So before I uh, make up my other my uh, small dilutions, I'm also going to make up um, a, uh, a tube of uh, tea dilution of 10%, okay? So 10% dilution um, uh, means that we've got nine parts water to one part tea, okay? So 10% dilution, we've got nine parts of water to one of tea. So in this 50 ml tube, what I'm gonna do is to put five ml of the tea extract in that, uh, and then dilute that with, uh, with 45 ml of water to get 50 ml of 10% diluted tea. OK, so uh, I'm going to start by getting my tea extract. OK, so you can see I've got that there. So I'm going to use these pastettes uh, and I'm going to, uh, they're marked out with where the 2.5 is. So I'm going to suck up 2.5. So you can just about see that there. So that's gone to the 2.5 marker on the pastette and do that as accurately as you can so that the meniscus, so the bottom of the sort of rounding that you see is at that 2.5 mark on there. Okay, so I've got 2.5 of T, it's going in. So that's 2.5 and I'll do another 2.5 to make my five mil. You see I've got a little bit of a bubble there. The more accurately you do this, the better your results will be. So again, I've got 2.5. And in that goes. So pop the lid back on the concentrated tea. And then uh, I'm going to fill that up to 50 ml just with my spare water. So that is a 10% diluted um, version of the tea. So that uh, so this one should be 10 times stronger than this one. Okay, so now I can start to set up my dilution series in my cuvettes. Okay, and um, we've given you in the handout, we've given you the volumes that you need to do uh, for each of these, but I'll go through uh, and show you how to do this here. Okay, so the first dilution is 100%. Okay, so that is literally what's in here. This is 100% strength. I want 100% in there. So I'm just going to take up 3 mil and pop that in my first cuvette. OK, so that's the strongest version of the tea that we're going to make. So the next one I'm going to make is 80 percent. OK, so for 80 percent, I need four parts of tea to one part of water. So what I'm going to do is to take two mil. And again, the more precise that you can be with this, the better. So take it to two mil. You can just about see that on my on my pet. And put that in the 80 percent. 
Okay. But then what I need to do is to dilute that with the water. So we've got two mil um, of tea. Uh, so four parts. Um, so if each part is 0 0.5 mil. So we had four parts, which is two mil of tea. And then I'm going to take 0 0.5 of water. So you can see there, I've got 0 0.5 of water. And again, do this as accurately as you can. So the meniscus is in the right place and add that to my T. And I'm just gonna push that down to there. So that should hopefully be a little bit more dilute than the 100%. Okay, and I'm gonna keep doing this for my other dilutions. So um, using the values in the table, uh, I'm gonna set this up. So for the 60%, I'm gonna want 1.5 mil in there. For the 40%, I'm going to want 1 mil in there. For the 20%, I'm going to want 0 0.5 mil. Okay, so I'm putting less tea in each of those. But then I'm diluting it with water. So the 60%, I want a mil going in. And then I want 1.5 for the 40% and then I want two for the 20%. So as I say, we've given you these values in the table. So there we go, I've got my first dilutions in there. So you can see that the color um, is getting fainter. I'll just put those against the white card so you can see that a little bit better. So you can see the concentrations or the color is getting weaker each time. So now I need the 10%. Well, we've actually already made that up. That was our 10% dilution there. So that's easy. I can just pipette three mils of that into the cuvette. It doesn't matter what the total volume is. What's important is the concentration that we're using, okay? Because what we're gonna do is to point the spectrophotometer um, near the bottom of the cuvette. Um, so it doesn't actually matter what the total height is as long as the dilution is correct. Okay, so the 10% was just uh, from our pre-diluted mix. Now I want 5%, so that's going to be half the concentration of the 10. So I'm going to take 1.5 mils of my dilute tea solution, pop that in there, and then put 1.5 mils of water in there. So that's diluted it even further. And now I've got my... 0%, so that's just going to be water. So I've now got a dilution series set up of my different strengths of tea. So you can see we go from the most concentrated, which was just the cup of tea itself, and uh, by making up those dilutions, I've now got a range of different concentrations of uh, my tea. So I can now go and put those uh, into uh, the uh, colorimeter setup and collect the data on uh, the concentration series. So, uh, so what you need to do is to measure each of those with the color picker app, and then to uh, draw a graph uh, where you've got concentration on the x-axis, and then you've got your RGB values on the y-axis. Now, you might want to, you could just plot, plot the raw RGB values, but that gets a little bit confusing. So the RGB value, so zero on uh, the RGB scale is black, and 255 on the RGB scale is white. So it's kind of the wrong way around. So what I would suggest is that you do what we call normalization of the data. So I've given you a formula of how to do this, and I've put this in the blurb below the video as well, uh, of the equation for normalizing your data. If we normalize it, then we can um, basically flip the data so that darker colors give us higher values, and that's a bit more intuitive for the rest of our experiments. So I'm gonna go and quantify those using the mobile phone colorimeter setup, and draw a calibration curve, and hopefully we get a nice relationship between um, the strength of color that we measure on the color picker and the concentration. If you've got a nice relationship, then that means that you could go and start to measure your experimental samples. If the relationship isn't that accurate, uh, then you might want to set up the dilution series again. Uh, you ought to be able to get really quite nice uh, relationships between your data. So, uh, so for this experiment, uh, we're starting by making up our concentrated uh, tea solution. So that's literally just a cup of tea 
We then made the 10% solution, uh, which was nine parts water to one part tea, so we've got more dilute. We use the values in the table uh, to set up our dilution series. So each of these cuvettes has got a different concentration of tea in it. And then we quantify that using the mobile phone colorimeter setup.